Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready, ready. Chrono? Me too. Oh. Mother, why are you doing this? Yeah. <laughs> I must do it for mankind. Do you not realize the ruin this could cause? Basically, Fable is Magnus right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I shall endure. Your people will not. This planet will not. Risks are inherent to any situation. As master of mankind, I must make my own decisions on the matter. Even when the stakes are the annihilation of your home and everyone on it? It must be done. Oh, come on, you lot. This is just... <laughs> a harmless question. You have oh, no Oh, come say on, it. you lot. <laughs> just this just like a question. They are. You have not looked into the repugnant abyss within which we are about to descend. It's wonderful. I do love this. <laughs> it's just really up there. Your father must be correct. Yeah. In your lack of emotions, these questions are giving me the urge to turn every last Imperial in the galaxy into mindless chaos pawns. That way, the galaxy's general intelligence quotient would skyrocket. They're not that bad. You're just overreacting. Oh, like you and your Tao girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Fucking, that was not canon. I am going to kick the living shit out of your red vein fucking dick. Calm down, children. It is neither more time nor. Yeah, and if you wonder, Fable, yes, they are going to bring that up again. <laughs> I hope they do, because that is really funny. I love it. Place to be livid. Well, if you are absolutely, completely, utterly, perfectly, entirely, horrifically, kill your planetically certain! Kill your planetically certain, that like that's a word. Yes, let me just bounce up and down to get the papers. Bounce up and down. Alright, first question. Wait, hmm? I need something first. Guess what it is, Fable. What does he need? What does he need? Is this a centurion? Just in case. Yes, it's a centurion! <laughs> Why are you so happy to see it? Why? Why? I just think they're neat. Alright? Let me tell you guys. <laughs> Let me tell you guys. Fable DM'd me like, oh, there's some people selling this centurion model over on eBay. I'm like, Fable, you don't need to buy that. Don't do it. Don't do it, Fable. Don't do I, it. I literally don't. I was just checking on eBay one day, and I saw that, like, I saw that it was telling me this, and I was like, "Oh, that's interesting." But they're like, "Hey, I want, to, I want to sell this one model for thirty something dollars," and I looked up the actual price for a kit for three, and it's like around yeah. Yeah, sixty they're... to seventy. It's like, why do you want to sell one for half the price? That sounds like highway robbery to me. Yeah. Little Centauri Bear will be my life buoy in the sea of hit and disgust. <laughs> so, I think that's why Fable wants one. First question from someone called. I just think Star. they're neat, okay? I would, like literally have no other reason, and I just think they're cool looking. Titan, Siren, Bear. Oh, great savior of mankind. I encroach on thy busy mind with a question of utmost importance to my mind. Didst thou, in all thy wiseness and foresight, not foresee the great heresy by the arch traitor he whose name I won't speak? Oh, how the fuck did he know that? I eagerly await thy reply, but I must go now. <laughs> That's the only punishment of not sorting through cactuses in the Lord Governor's garden. Faithful yours, Arm. Time. <laughs> Is he a time traveling scribe or just dyslectic? <laughs> <laughs> that one's great, actually. You could, could be both. You don't know. I mean, isn't that just what psychers are? That's true, actually. Point. Answer the question. This is amongst the few good ones. Since I am constantly several void whales ahead of any void else, whales, I am certain I did. But as I have said before, my memory is as fractured as the self-esteem of an overweight Eldar. But I think <laughs> what? I have no idea. My expansive knowledge of all that is is still out there somewhere. Oh look, it's his knowledge. <laughs> Why can't you hear me? You must kill the tower before it's too late. <laughs> 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 
I don't know why he wants to kill him. <laughs> Get fucking sages here. Anyway. Anyway, next question. Oh, great emperor of mankind, I have thought long and hard about the question I would ask of you. About what a tiny, short lived, insignificant speck like myself would ask of you, the pinnacle of man. Our most wise, benevolent, and self sacrificing emperor. Truly, you are the most compassionate, empathetic being to have ever existed. You have seen us grow, guided us in our darkest hour, helped us as horrors beyond all decency and This is a players. very long one. Surely you have seen the oh, yeah. and watched as we gleefully seem to fling ourselves into abandon. Of our own will, with no care to harm we cause. Surely it must break your heart. O oh, great man, Emperor, witness to our greatest of glories and deepest shames, I have thought long and hard over what I would dare ask thee. Why do you still love us? Why do you still even care? Respectfully, your humble servant. My ass must taste the brown <laughs> beef and rainbows if it is that delicious because I would not be surprised if it does. <laughs> oh my goodness. So brutal. Yeah, he did just give him a lot of, well, you know, flattery, but yeah. He does have a very good point. Why do you care? Because I see immense potential in mankind. I cannot even comprehend that, honestly. Maybe it's because I've been in the war for a better part of 10,000 years, but I just see a squabbling herd of animals. I want. That's because Magnus has an overinflated ego to the point where it reaches past Terra. It's true! To imagine this. Hello there, what is going on? Imagine oh. thousands upon thousands of angelic beings reminiscent of me in my prime. Oh. All <laughs> united in a peaceful galaxy, in an interstellar <laughs> imperium, where all individuals well, have attained their that? own objective perfection. Oh. Oh. That's the Ecclesiarch. Oh, is that that, <laughs> that uh, pup guy? Yes. Without or nor political turbulence, they all lay naked upon a beautiful beach planet, reveling in the ecstasies of human life. And really fucking good hair. Uh, ah. That is what I want for mankind. To turn us all into an entire species of divine masterminds with giant gold coated abs, just like him. E -e 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 -e. I can't take it! <laughs> Sorry, I'll take my leave. <coughs> well, that. Well, what was that, Fable? I don't know, and I don't want to know. All sounds like it's. Extremely wishful thinking. No, the potential exists. I made you prime marks, remember? Yes, but we were a very special case, were we not? Of course you are special, my little Magni magic. But that does not mean you are anything more than part of a failed badge. What? God damn! Just fucking destroying Magnus what? over here. Question, please. Uh, um, this one's from Matthew. To the true man emperor of mankind, why is every beauty imperium painted gold? Because gold is given to those in first place. Every lesser color is relegated to contestants. I mean, he's not who wrong. Keep up because of how much Sino cock they suck. Mankind rules. Woo -woo. <laughs> Mankind. Mankind rules. Woo -woo. <laughs> yeah. You saw this coming, Fable. Fable is loving us. Yeah. Here we go. The Governator. Dear Emperor, I am fascinated by the amounts of gold you seem to have in your possession. And I would like to inquire about where did you find so much. You see, I am ruling over a world, and I am considering about making investments gold plating all of my PDF armors to make them more impressive when they perform their crowd control duty against the disgusting populace. Because what you can tell he's a planet governor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way he's talking. Yeah, they're usually all pieces of shit. Wealthy and powerful, and you don't use these assets to show off how much better and superior you are than the masses of uncultured plebeians. I'm sure you can relate to such empowering sensation. I don't know how. I don't know how he would laugh when he's written it down. Maybe he'd go. <laughs> <laughs> Demonic frog laugh is what that said. <laughs> oh my God. Later on. I want you to send an explicit order to the Department of Money Tantrum to replace this scrote snake's every order with rusted copper and glitter glue. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Next. This one is from CZP. Yeah, because he wants gold. My Emperor, have you ever considered how much of a dick you were towards Magnus pre and during the Horus Heresy? After Ulamor and then almost denied gear? And even after that, I mean, 
Have you ever tried to get some help with how to treat your children? Is it enough that they have to grow up without you? Oh you boy. Were... You ready for the family feud? <laughs> oh no. What's <laughs> happened this time? Who this one? Did you not? As a matter of fact, I did not. This person just seems very logical. Pretty sure you did. No, I did not. Yeah, you totally did. No. Yes. Answer it, damn you! I did all I could to prevent you from killing each other out of spite. What great father would not? Good parents do not have children killing yeah, each other that's out true. of spite. It was I mean, that explains a lot. My parents were terrible, and that's why I want to throw my... Sometimes throw my siblings out the window. It's mostly because the planets you were raised upon were so gormlessly different that you had been forced fed radically disparate ideals since your birth. So you're blaming on dead adoptive parents now? Mostly the spectral shit stains that put you up for adoption to begin with. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is because they grew up on such rad radically different planets and had such different ideologies that they couldn't really work together the best. And had problems with, you know, trying to kill each other. It's a real problem. For them, especially. I mean, you could still I mean, some of the Prime Marks actually did have proper, uh... I mean... Like, parent figures that actually cared for them. Morty was one of the ones that had a uh, parental figure that wanted to kill him because he was a dick. Yeah. I mean, funny thing is, some of the Prime Marks got together pretty well. Like, everyone loves Sanguinius. Even... Uh, Conrad Curse, and Conrad Curse was freaking insane. Yeah. Well, I know something interesting I learned, Fable. Apparently, Conrad Curse was scared of talking to Sanguinius when he got caught. <laughs> Why? Because he was worried that he would tell him that he could be redeemed. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Because, for those who don't know, uh... Conrad Curse believed he had no choice other than become a monster, so to be told he could be redeemed and that he was his choice to become a monster would destroy him. The thing about Conrad Curse as well is he could see the future, I believe, and because of that, he literally got visions of the monster he would become, but he was one of those idiots that believed that fate is set in stone, so no matter what he did, he would become that not knowing the fact that he could try to prevent it he's just like well this is my fate and then at one point he literally saw himself die to an assassin he's mm -hmm. just like well, well i guess this is my out bye and he literally let himself die because that's what fate told him to do and it's just like yeah it's not only well, it's not only that it's because he believed that he was getting proven right and he believed well actually he didn't actually believe this but he said it that being right is more powerful than being alive. Also, Conrad Terse hated his legion, and he, like, he hated his legion because they were a reflection of himself. Yeah. And his legion was a monster because he allowed it to be, and because he himself was one. It's, it's a great his his uh solo book is a great example of how how self hate could bring you down a really dark path. But also, we we'll, can talk. About that later. <laughs> also, he was slowly uh, unraveling because of his abilities, and like his teeth was turning black. He was starting to drool mid sentence. He was just a mess. He was just a mess. Also, Holy because he lived on a planet with no light, because it was like underground, like a lot of the cities. The minute the emperor popped up, he flashed like a bright light. It literally burnt his eyes. He he basically went blind for a while because the emperor just shined a giant radiant sun in his freaking son's eyes. It's basically like if you're going for through the dark. <laughs> it's yeah. basically like if someone you're going through the dark, like barely, and then someone shines a, a very bright flashlight in your eyes. Shut up! I am. Yeah, he's just like my son. I found oh, you. Shows him the sun. Blinds him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my dear brother. <laughs> I have a query which has deeply troubled me in my creed. Is your glorious self a bloody necrophiliac that with all unhealthy amounts of skulls and all? It is to show that even in its barest form, humanity is beautiful. I guess. Have you seen how majestically my cranium curves between my varietals? What? It is amazing and something that binds us all together. I mean, my that is true. Emperor, does your penis still function? <laughs> Would you bang a towel if so? <laughs> <laughs> 
I love how Magnus is just slowly backing up from that question. Did you see that? Yes, I saw that. It's like he just is taking a bath. <laughs> Tau are actually smaller than normal humans, so, um... <laughs> Sounds of things they'd be too scared to even let me go near them with my enormous fiery great sword. <laughs> so they are not let us get on leg day? Fuck you. My lord emperor, why doesn't she love me back? If <laughs> said individual does not respond to your advances, then stop wasting your precious life. Blood on her, Sonny. Take it from someone who probably ravaged her great 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 grandmother. She is not worth your time. Oh my lord. I didn't think the emperor would give dating advice, but yeah. Oh my lord. Here is a question from someone called, uh, Carl the Rain. Okay, I think I might... He says certain words that I'm going out to block it, but we're still gonna hear a bit of it. Oh, great. Oh, goodness. No. Carl the Deranged, I think, is one of his friends. No. Dear Gold... Okay. <laughs> Are you in pain? I fucking hope so. <laughs> oh my god. Mostly I said this to get the one who opens it the Nurgle's rot I packed into it with. Go and place another priest, you piece of decomposing garbage. He just unleashed Nurgle's rot into the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. That's funny. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> I don't remember what Nurgle's Rot does, but it's one of the most deadly diseases in the entire galaxy. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, yeah. You are atrocious at sorting these. Is yeah. this the most deadly disease in the galaxy? Just refrain from breathing through your nose and you should be fine. I'm pretty sure it's one of those diseases is if you smell it, you're dead. Because it smells just that awful. Still smells better than the spaghetti he cooked. Oh wow. Joe O oh, glorious emperor of mankind, out of all the chaos gods and other douchebag deities that threaten the Imperium, which one pisses you off the most? That is like asking what kind of brain cancer I prefer. I am too busy frothing and screaming to be able to answer. <laughs> this question is apparently from a piece of your lost soul, my lord. O oh, glorious vessel of our splintered soul, have you yet asked about what happened to the armory you wore during our duel with fucking Horus? Thank you. Oh my god. Look at this Warrior one. Space Emperor, your question is grand, just like you. And <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, he's complimenting himself. Yeah, I do I actually he remember. He kind of did or... that when he did the alternate voices thing, remember? Yeah. How he when was getting we on himself, around. and then it ended up badly. Yeah. When <laughs> he turned female, he, turned, he, got, he fell in love with himself or something like that. <laughs> It was something along that line, but yeah, it was crazy. That was funny. That was really funny. Dying after the duel, we lied there, and listed off a couple hundred things those present needed to do if we were to die. Amongst those, I told them to pulverize our armor, and incorporate the fragments into Cruxter Me Natus badges. Why, though? That sounds like an incredibly nonsensical thing to order when you're in need of urgent medical attention. It was honestly a heat of the moment thing. Like, do you know when you are feeling extremely erogenous in bed? And use Mac whoever is with you across the face just to see if it feels good. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? Excuse me, what? I don't know. Listen to Sist right now. Next questions! Okay. This one is from Eliphas the This is my favorite question, I remember. Eliphas the Inheritor. He is an actual character in the series, by the way. I mean in Ooh. 40k. Inheritor. Hey, Corpse Emperor. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Yes, that is. <laughs> then get punched by spectral arm from the Emperor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yes, if you're wondering why every time this every time he's on screen it says waffles, it's because he's Belgium. He's Belgian. Oh. <laughs> Next. This one is honestly kind of worrying. I'm writing this letter from my hiding place under Agri World's designation Delta 894571. 
Calyxis sector near Hazaropolis. I have seen put a lot of effort into this one. I sent my ship away with as many refugees as possible that stayed on this doomed world. Emperor, I must warn thee of the greatest threat within this sector, the Tyrant Star. Its origins are unknown, though my sources indicate it may be older than the universe itself. Have you heard of this fable? Yeah, actually, that's um, that's when a weird event happened where apparently I don't remember exact details off the top of my head, but I remember there was like a weird event in 40k history where apparently this giant event happened and a lot of a lot of space marines uh, planets were destroyed all of a sudden because of this weird event. Again, I know I'm trying to... Again, I don't remember the exact details, so forgive me if I keep repeating the same thing. But yeah, I, I know about it. Yeah, that's fine. Star, often possessing systems of natural star, and shines pale, baleful light. It brings mutation, madness, and untold horrors. Yeah, it causes people to go insane. Now shines upon this world. Wait, wasn't that also what caused the, uh, the pale wasting? Or is I, that a different event? I don't remember, because I don't think we have a lot of lore on the pale wasting. All the files I could gather before I had them. I pray it is not yet too late. The clock of Harlots, one I bought from one of his deserted mansions, one that never once has worked, no matter what I did, now counts time to midnight, boiled with the blood of his kid. Ugh. Uh, realistic curvy plush, he cried 600 <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I did not see that coming. I can't. I can't. <laughs> His Furby is crying blood. <laughs> and you just see the fade in of the Furby. <laughs> oh, my well, lord. The realistic Furby plus he cried 666 liters of blood in 13.72 seconds. The blood of 13.72 seconds. Of all the things to survive in the 42nd millennium, it had to be Furby. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> I remember Furby just being gross and weird. So I lay down my life and soul to save a few others. I just oh, like it. The Furby thing is just so out of left field that I don't even. Like, you don't understand. People still worship Furbies, and some people make weird content of it. Like, by that I mean, uh, they make cursed uh, photos of them. You can find them if you look, but I recommend you don't. It's not worth it. I don't want to look. May they find shelter. I think it's worth No, Chrono, no! <laughs> we'll just see Chrono being devoured by a Furby. <laughs> no. <Hang on. laughs> now I have to search it up. No! <laughs> what is it called? Cursed Furbies? Probably, yeah. Uh, I don't actually know the exact name, but it's mm -hmm. if you look up cursed photos mm -hmm. of them, you'll see it's people doing weird stuff. Let, let's move on for this and watch that this. Sounds the awful. End. What the fuck? <laughs> you looked up the Furbies! <laughs> you really did? This is on you! Hold on, what the fuck? <laughs> I told you not to look up the Furbies, but this you. Is, this, is, this is more funny than it is creepy, to be honest. Oh, right, there's one smoking a cigarette. There's one with legs. Uh, there's one that is in the shape of a bong. One giving birth to kids through its mouth. Okay, I'm not going to look at that. Uh, I'm going to move on because I don't want to hear that. I'm going to get a M. If a son is black, I know anything about this atrocity, Bane. I have heard of it. It appears out of nowhere at the bottom of the planet. Yeah. Being anarchy and mutation in its wake. A prophetic manuscript called the Hereticus Tenebrae mentions that it is the harbinger of an encroaching darkness. I am naturally not all too into the subject at hand, but this totally sounds like that hoe plus vertebrate Malol. Uh, Malol does not even exist. I know. Maybe that black sun is actually a reality people out of his prison of non-existence. Goodness me, do you think he could break free and cause havoc? Hell no. He is an absolute pushover. Oh well, my he god. He wrote that prophecy manuscript himself to make it seem like he is an actual thr- <laughs> Yeah, they're never gonna do anything with Malau. Even if there's literally a group of space marines called the Sons of Malice. Actually, talking about weird creepy 40k stuff, there actually is a, like, small subsection of, uh, 
uh, Forehammer 40k horror stories, I honestly recommend looking into them because some of them are really good. Uh, maybe. Right. It's only if you're into horror, that is. If yeah. not, then I recommend it. But yeah. if you are, do check them out. If you're wondering what this on the screen is, Colonel, that is Malal. Oh. The one that doesn't exist. Yes. The greatest chaos god ever. Oh, fuck them all up. Just you wait. I will become relevant again. Hello. And these are all the other characters that are no longer relevant to anything. <laughs> uh, that's Horus. I think that's a squat. That's a squat. And I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know what the other thing is, actually. Neither do I. You just can't keep doing this to yourself. Stop talking to me! I will become Kevin! I will! I will! I will! <laughs> Come, I'll make you some hot chocolate. Yeah, Horus isn't important to anything. He's just... Unless you're playing, like, 40k... Or 30k. That. This one's from some feral world named Dorbuzak... Uz... Uz... Dorbuzak. <laughs> Oh, mighty Emperor, savior of all mankind. Please, do answer me this simple question. What is exactly a fucking man of iron? Imagine a tech priest, but completely mechanical. And absolutely mm -hmm. mind-fuckingly dedicated to destroying all human life. Is that wrong? In the entirety of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Never ceasing to pursue even the slightest trace of human life. Until it gets gone down by a Volpite weapon. Or run over by Pretty a much. massive rolling pin. <laughs> Pretty much, the... Uh... Uh, the the revolution of the Man of Iron didn't last that long, in all things considered. Continue to explain more, but the war against the sentient machines lasted for such a short period of time. Fun that fact that it, they are the reason why the, no one uses AI or anything like that in the 40k universe, except for the leagues of <clears throat> Votan, who actually have brothers who are, you know, just robots. And have this giant thing that manufactures stuff for them that's just a giant AI. It is not as important yeah, as everyone seems to in, think. Um, AI is called abominable intelligence. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. I'm pronouncing the wrong first word wrong, but it's something like that. Mr. Imp, do Indian people still exist? What about Arabs? For fuck's sake, why does everyone forget about Dalarn? This is basically him talking about uh, the 40k universe and the uh, figures. They've done some good shit, and then their model line gets discontinued because nobody wanted to buy anything that did that <laughs> look like Starship Troopers or the offspring of Apis drinking survivalist and a speech impaired boxer. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, he's talking about the models. He described what was basically a catechin and what was basically uh, Acadian. You know, a piss-drinking survivalist and a speech-impaired boxer is, uh, Al uh, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, there are different model lines, and if you look through different planets, there's basically different planets for each and every, I want to say, subsection of country. But they don't really get talked a lot about. The only one you really, the only regiments you really hear about is the Apocalypse Division, the Kriegsmen, the Cadians, and the Catechins. Oh, and the Valhallans, but that's only from Caiaphas Kane's books. The fun fact, the Valhallans live on such a frozen wasteland that they, when they're on a planet that's even slightly warmer, they turn the AC way up until it's freezing. <laughs> oh, wow. It makes so much sense, actually. Yeah, I read that in one of the Kaifus Kane books that quite literally that is why they do. That's why he can literally see his breath every time he enters a room with one of them. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Next. From Yellow Snowman, may I <laughs> lick one's holy toes? Immediate restraining order. <laughs> Next. Have you ever commu yeah. communicated with the Tyranid hive mind? If so, what's it like? It is like talking to a herd of hungry sheep. It is unfulfilling and makes you look like an idiot. Next. Dear uh. that <laughs> food franchise. I hope this letter reaches you. The burger I ordered got cold after I got home. Replace it for me. Oh, he's pissed. 
Yeah. Pure love. <laughs> Nevertheless, I am happy you two idiots do not work for an actual post office. <laughs> Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Why does everyone hate Eldar so much? Maybe a I did describe the reason of why they ha hate Eldar so much, uh, Chrono, but do you remember what that reason is, Fable? Uh, the Eldar are the exact reason that the universe is so fucked at the moment because oh, of them. Yeah. Because of them, Slanesh was born. They also are the most arrogant race in existence because they think they're better than everyone, even though they're just barely surviving by uh, by the hair of their by, the, by a single fraction. Because the thing is, if for whatever reason they lose a craft world, that's like like fifty or something percent of their of their whole uh, race gone right there. Pretty much, they're they're. They're incredibly, incredibly prideful to the point where they think they're better than everyone. It's their, it's literally their fault that uh, the warp is so bad. Well, no, technically it's the Necron's fault, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, it's literally their fault we have Slanesh in the first place because they murder slept with everyone till a god of excess was born. Also, and I, I wish can... I was kidding. Yeah, also, be... yeah, he's about to describe... They were not so far up their own asses. Like, well, quite literally in the... Dark Eldar, it's just and I hate them. Yeah, also, whenever you're dealing with Craftworld Eldar, there's quite literally a spot when I was playing in Dawn of War when they were spying on the Blood Ravens. They're like, yes, the Mon Kai are approaching. You'll probably smell them before you even see them. I'm like, you really are so far up your own Lower asses. They're, the only one that wasn't was the Commander, and she was like... You can never underestimate a space marine chapter. Resembled life-size plastic yeah. casts. I would not want to spank the living shit out of their pointed ass cheeks. That and a couple other reasons which are beside the point. And like this. Then she says, oh, I'm not going to tell you how to prevent this impending tomb which threatens us both. <sighs> tell me about it. Yeah, that's pretty normal, Eldar Axe. They don't tell you what they're doing or why they're doing it. Yes, because apparently, first and foremost, like, I think I mentioned this once before, but when the Eldar can, some of the Eldar can kind of predict the future or get messages from their god, essentially, who then sends the Harlequins to assassinate certain key, fe uh, certain key individuals to make sure that they're, to make sure that specifically their future and only theirs is succeeded. So, say there's a human planet with humans and Eldar on it, if the Eldar are in trouble, they're going to make sure they leave the planet, so then Chaos comes in and just fucks over the humans, who are not who are minding their own business, but it's the Eldar first. That's how prideful and stupid they are. They, they also, can literally make a difference, but they refuse to. Like I said before, they literally... Yes, they also think of us as unevolved apes and refer to us as Monkai. Yeah. yeah. Still stupid. Also, oh, GW hates the crap out of the Eldar, and the Eldar fans hate it. But at the same time, they're like, "Your your fa your faction is one of the worst. So is humanity. Let's just all accept that fact. Mm -hmm. Get out of here." Oh my fabulous <laughs> emperor! I found the heresy. Where do I put it? Shove it in your face and choke on it. <laughs> Here's one from an Inquisitor, Amberly Vale. Amberly Vale? Really? Her? Her? Yeah. Oh my god. And for those that don't know, Amberly Vale is uh, Caiaphas Kane's quote unquote Inquisitor girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. points where she literally just gets Caiaphas Kane to go with her on situations, and he just. The reason he acts the way he does is, is he's trying to look cool for her. Yeah. He's a giant oh, nice. nerd. It's funny. Yeah. Or is he just unlucky and or a source of entertainment for the Chaos Guard? And yeah, you read. He, do you just have it out for Caiaphas Kane, or is he just an unlucky? when I have actually perceived visions of during my hours of silence, Caiaphas Kane was one of a select few individuals in the Imperium, whom I felt had enough common sense to survive whatever the Chaos Gods threw at him. This is more than I can say for most people who serve me also. That is true. He has probably some of the most big amounts of common sense in the galaxy. Check his day to slate the next time you see him, to his great but three as a crowd. Ah ha ha ha. I don't know what that means. Yeah, um, the thing about Kaiba's we talked about him a couple times before, but he is one of the most, 
one of the people that actually has common sense. Hell, one story, literally, he was working with the Tau, and some of his soldiers went missing, but when they came back, Caphis Kane shot both of them, and you're probably wondering, oh, why did he do that? It's because he knew that whenever you're dealing with gene stealers and if any of your soldiers disappear for hours at a time, yeah, and then come back, and then come back feeling really woozy and they don't have any recollection, it's because they're infected with gene stealer. Uh, with yeah. they've been infected by the gene stealers and have to be taken out. Yeah, that was some like... commissars would have probably just kept them, but he's just like, no, nope, I got to take you guys out. I'm sorry. Yeah, he quite Cause literally because he knew better. Because quite literally, if you didn't know, this does happen. To, he actually dealt with that before in one of the earlier books. Where uh, also, it's really funny. He does actually have one of his soldiers just calls him Kane, and he hates it. He just calls him like, like Kai. He calls him Kai yeah, calls instead him of Kai. Kai instead of Kane, and it just he doesn't. He's pretty sure that he does it just to piss him off. Yeah, he allows it, but it does bother him though, which is really funny. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. He says, Dear Emperor, what are we going to do with all the Adeptus Forages laying around? Oh, yeah. Now that you've directly reformed the Ecclesiarchy into a non religious sect. Yeah, they, they would no longer have their powers of faith. The Sororages will no longer have any power from their now heretical faith. They're about as effective as power armed as nuns without worshipping you as a god. I bring this up because I don't have enough barbites to keep them out of the local bars and pubs. <laughs> We'll be out of alcohol in mere months at this rate, and the combined weight of sisters abandoning the shrines to drown their sorrows will collapse the hives on several planets. <laughs> so basically, the ex nuns are just getting drunk. Calm the tits down. If my wish was oh, for brother. anyone to not continue fighting against chaos, contrivances, and the like, my fragments would probably not have given them the strength to do so. Order the sorry to send whoever else to get back out there and fight in my name. Tell them that if they do, I will send out special edition Emperor's Sunsai vacation pinups for their enjoyment. If their faith in humanity is so lacking that they leave me out of its category, let them be enlightened by what perfect fucking pecs humanity and humanity alone can grace the galaxy with. Our next message is from... Him. Oh. The millennium. Oh. That guy. Oh. Hey, Amps. I've been out here leading the Alpha Crusade for a while and I... Wait, he's leading the Alpha Crusade? Oh no. He's a yeah, uh, he's a freaking uh, he's one of the Alpha Legion. I'm the flesh terrors keep saying that he hopes some guy called Sanguidio. Oh, there's a flesh terrors. Do you remember the flesh terrors fable? Yes, the flesh terrors are a successor chapter of the Blood Angels, I believe, and they are so I don't know, not heretical, that's the wrong word. They are so monstrous in their in their uh, crusades and in their missions that the, the Inquisition, yeah, the Inquisition has considered them as evil, even though technically they are loyal as fuck. It's they're just renegade. the fact that they are so brutal. Yeah, they're yeah, they're so brutal. They're 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 so brutal at what they do that the Inquisition is just like we gotta get rid of these guys. But no, they're they're loyal. They're still loyal. It's just they're, they're... very brutal. Funny enough, they're actually really close to being renegade, but their uh, chapter master Gabriel Seth always tries to rein them in. Because if you didn't know, the Flesh Terrors are the ones that most easily give in to the Black Rage. Yeah, and I think at one time when Dante became chapter master, he wanted to try to get them to, yeah, to I... help him or at least like respect him. And the chapter master's like, no, you're pathetic. And then... And then when Dante was like, "All right, fine," and then he proved the sh they proved themselves, and the chapter's master's like, "Well, I'll give you this. You got guts. We'll help you just because I like you now." But he pretty much said, "I don't like you because you're an idiot or something stupid like that." <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Well, I'll show you something right. about Dante later. Well, I read the Sanguinia sounds like your son Sanguinius. Oh yeah, he's talking about the Sanguinor. We're the Sanguinor. Uh, it's hard to describe what the Sanguinor is. If I remember, it's a ceremonial role played by one of the Sanguinor guards. I could be wrong about that. Who are the personal guard of Commander Dante. Basically, they all wear giant golden armor with jetpacks that look like wings. And they all have, like, golden death masks. And they all have golden armor. Just wondering. Is they are, me? like, the best of the best in the Blood Angels. I was there when my son died. I saw his body, felt no life from his flesh. 
Whatever fucking horse had done to him, he could not be brought back. Sniff. If the Sanguiner is really even a fragment of the only one of my children, that played his life down for me. Hopefully he knows that daddy misses him very much. Sniff sniff. Oh, so. That's actually pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, father, did you get what you wanted out of this? Yes. This put me more into balance, and the time I surfed a space hulk in the warp, I smashed it right into one of Seam's crystal garden planets. You did what? <laughs> <laughs> Keep them around. The last thing I want is more questions to be turned into some little kid space marine costume when some <laughs> random adept is sent to manage the pile. That's how it is, isn't it? Always having other people do the dirty work for you. Oh, it's boy. not like he can fucking move or anything, Magnus. Oh, wait! You need to shut your face, Richard Lionbeck. Why do you tell me to <laughs> shut up all the time? You keep complaining despite you having the fucking mane of a great beast. Rebel, 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 Yes, they are. Oh my god. Rebel, 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 rebel. Oh hey, Chrono. No, oh, Chrono is in here. Oh yeah. Chrono, rebel, rebel, rebel. Rebel, 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 rebel. Oh yeah.